Hey everyone, Thomas here, and I'm excited to share with you a new feature that lets you track your quotes in Materium. As you know, very often in a new project, you might put in some estimates, uh, but then you're going to want to actually get some firm quotes from vendors or subcontractors to update your prices. In this case, I have a simple project with a little uh, bit of scope for updating the floors in a dining room and a study. You can see here on the left, I've estimated about 200 square feet for the dining room and 240 for the study. I've put in uh, my guess, which is $6 per foot for the materials. Now I get an actual quote, let's say, from my vendor. I can actually track it here, and if I need to, I can track multiple quotes. So clicking that button next to the category name brings up a new dialog that allows me to upload the file that they sent me with their quote. In this case, it's from Fine Floor Guys, a local flooring company. Uh, and I can look at this quote and review it and check that this is for the, the items here. If I had received a quote from a subcontractor to do the install labor, I could have instead checked these fields to say that this quote is for those. But in this case, we're quoting the materials. Next, I'm going to confirm the prices for these materials. So in this case, I want to make sure I copy this over. Luckily, this is on the right, so I can easily compare. It's 850, 850, and tax of $187, and this total matches. So that's great. I'm going to just make sure I wrap up this quote, say who it's from. This is from Fine Floor Guys. This was quoted to me on March 1st. And it's usually good for about 30 days. So I'm going to say it's good until uh, March the 30th. And save the quote. So now you'll see uh, a little indicator saying how many quotes are pending review. So let's say I had different, a few different quotes for the same items. I can go, I can click this and I can compare and contrast them. In this case, I just have one. And I can look at it, review it, see how long it's still good for. And if, let's say, we decide we're going to go forward with this vendor or subcontractor, I can go ahead and approve this quote and update my prices. Here we provide a nice little summary of what is about to happen. So in this case, once you approve this quote, your estimate is going to be updated using the new quoted rates. So that $6 I originally put in is going to be updated to 850 and that there's going to be a tax rate applied now, which I didn't put in originally. Of course, you can always turn this on and off, but in this case, we're using these quotes to help firm up the pricing for our project. So I'm going to go ahead and prove that quote. This gets marked as approved, and if I look back at my scope of work, all my pricing has been updated with the latest price. So that's quoting in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.